Hi, it's Louisa. So we come to the last day of 2010. And it is a kind of a funny day where it makes you want to think about what happened in 2010, the, the things that you have accomplished or the things that you have missed. And then you think about the new year and you wonder, oh, what is 2011 going to be like? What's the plan? Sometimes we sit and think whether it is worthwhile having your resolutions and plans because I'm sure we have all been there, have some goals and some worked out, some did not. But you see, whether we articulate these goals and desires publicly or not, whether we talk about it or write it down or not, I would think that each one of us do have some desires. It's just not very clear or it may not be uh, in the forefront or we, we may not have thought through those things. So there are some secret things that we like to do, some, some things, some desires that we would like to have or to be some sort of person with some new characters and new traits or achieve something. I am quite sure deep down each one of us have some of these whether we talk about it or not. We may not want to make it public or we may not want to give it attention because Sometimes we don't know if these things will work out. Perhaps we have tried it in the past, things didn't really work out. So what do we need to do um, if we have plans that we want to materialize? I think there are three questions that I would ask myself and I would uh, suggest for you to try out too. So the first question is, why do I want to have those things or why do I want to do those things, those projects? Why do I want to be that person that I foresee myself to be in 2011? What is the reason? What, what is the reason has to be strong enough for me to sustain? Because sometimes we have good intentions, we have plans, but we do not have the stamina to sustain as distractions comes in, as challenges comes in, we don't see clearly enough the reason why and then we give up. It's not that we don't succeed. I think sometimes we give up too soon. We don't give ourselves enough chance to work it through. And then the second question would be to clarify on what is it that we really want. We have some vague ideas, some sort of intentions, but because we don't think through it, it is not clear, it is not um, crystallized, so it is cloudy. Now, if we know what is it that we want, specifically measurable, and make it very time-based, then what we can do is we can take mini steps, whether it is every week or every day or even every month. We want to see progress and track ourselves. If we don't know what is it that we want clearly, then there's no way to track. And if you don't know where we are going, there's no motivation for you to carry through because you don't see your success, you don't see your progress. It's just like driving out to nowhere land. You're just taking a drive. You don't really know how well you're doing and you're not really getting anywhere. So we need to know what is it that we want. And then of course, the first question will be how am I going to get there? This is where the strategy comes in, the plans, the blueprint, the structures. Because to do anything, to have anything, I would think need a change in the way we think. And a change in the way we do things. We may have to do things in a more effective way, a more productive way. We may need to think in a new way, be more open, be more creative, be more daring, take more risk, um, calculated risk, of course. So there is this whole question of how. So I just have these three questions for myself and for you to consider as we enter 2011. If we have some things that we like to accomplish, some desires, some dreams, I say dream. Dream as much as you want to and then put in the plans. Ask ourselves why is it important for us to have these things? What is it that we are trying to accomplish? and how am I going to get there? And when you think through this, then it becomes more clear. It's not as cloudy. And the more you think about it, the more you will come up with a plan. And if you need any help, just give a shout. I am always here to help you clarify some of these things. This is part of what I do. Um, if you'd like to get in touch with me, just go to www.workwithoneheart.com and that is W-O-R-K-W-I-T-H-O-N-E H-E-A-R-T. One heart is mine.